Set it right on the edge. After weeks of planning, building, and tweaking, competition day has arrived. I'm like, sh I'm like shocked. I'm like, okay, today's the day, yay! The most challenging part of this contest for these Animo Venice Charter High School students is just beginning, says 14-year-old team member Calder Scarpa. I think it was bringing it over here. I think that was challenging because we had to take it all apart, bring it over here, and then rebuild it. There you go. And rebuilding this Rube Goldberg machine means every object needs to be in just the right place for the series of chain reactions to accomplish the ultimate goal of erasing a chalkboard. Personally, I feel like it was pretty frustrating when the thing kind of collapsed and you had to put it back over and over again. After several test runs, we've got Animo High School over in Venice here with their Rube Goldberg machine. It is time to reveal this machine to the judges. Brett Dorr says he is looking for a machine that creatively uses everyday objects for a different purpose than its original intent. They have a, a fan that uh, is not being used as a fan at all, but it's what they're exploiting is, is the bearings and the axle of, of, of the, the spindle uh, that is connected to the propeller and using that as something that, that is basically a pulley. Um, and so there, there's something that's really kind of neat about that. This event aims to encourage high school and college students to use their science and engineering as well as artistic skills to create these machines. Regional competitions like this in the Los Angeles area are held around the country and there is an international contest held online for middle school students. After three attempts by each team, the judges have a winner. We're going to start with the high school first place champion from today. I'm just excited right now. Like Since we won this, I'm, I'm just so excited. The teammates say they learned the importance of communicating and working together. Physics teacher Christina Hanush says creativity was also a key factor. I was trying to get them to lower down the craziness. I'm like, we can't do something so crazy, but you know what, in the end, letting them do their crazy ideas is what got us first place. These students say their next challenge is finding the funds to pay their way to the national competition in Wisconsin next year. Great. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.